Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to discuss NEO's price prediction that I have for 2022. We are going to discuss where I see it going, where analysts see it going, because it's near rock bottom lows, and I have a strong conviction that these levels are not sustainable, so I believe there's a lot of opportunity to be had for the wise investors. Any investors with grit and experience know when the market sells off, there's opportunity to buy. There's also a lot of risk, but hey, nobody ever got rich sitting on the sidelines. Unless you're a Lewis getting paid $20 million to sit on the bench of the Washington Wizards and watching your fellow NBA players dunk while you relax and get paid to sit. But let's be a little bit realistic. None of us are NBA players here. Now, obviously, EV stocks are still one of my favorites to invest in. I also want to update you on Tesla stock and where I see it headed next. We will talk about some key ratios, news, and financials for both NEO and Tesla. But first, if you'd be so kind to smash that like button for me, it really helps out the algorithm. Also, I do have a lot of trades that I'll be making in the private the Discord, which is by application only in the description. I want to make sure you're a good fit as we don't just let anyone follow the buy and sell signals that I put out. The link is in the description. Also, Robinhood, where I do my trading, is giving away free stocks and my link has been giving people a share of Apple and Nvidia often. So make sure that you get a free stock by making literally any deposit. Now let's jump into it. Credit Suisse analyst Bin Wang said Neo was his top pick in China's auto sector and offered a price target of $83 per share. That's a 4x from NEO's current levels. The RSI for NEO was 35 when it bottomed out January 28th. It has very strong support at the $20 level. You can see the big red volume was heaviest with many investors selling off and losing hope. Now, NEO is showing good signs of recovery. The RSI is 40, so still below the 50 level where I like to build positions. I'm feeling very good about NEO. I'm starting to add it again and build a long-term position. That being said, you can see the stock still has a lot of volatility. I made a video on NEO options a couple of days ago. To summarize, I'm a fan of buying the stock and selling 28 call options to generate some premium. I'm going out two weeks to sell the 28 strike. Now I'm also selling puts at the $20 level. Since that's a strong support for NEO, selling at the $20 level means I can buy up shares of a good growth name and get paid some big bucks for it. If I get put the stock, I'm going to run the wheel strategy. You can watch what that is and how to properly do the wheel in my description. I'll leave a link to the YouTube video for you to watch. Aside from NEO facing some political issues, which nobody can predict, it's a clear buy case for me. Neo is successfully growing its manufacturing output despite global supply chain challenges across the industry. It's 24,439 vehicle deliveries in the third quarter of 2021 were an all time high and a 100% year over year increase. It also launched its battery as a service offering in 2020 and lets customers buy an EV for a lower upfront price. And it lets them subscribe to receive upgradable and rapidly swappable batteries. Consistent high growth, recurring revenue, Revenue and deliveries all look very stable from my standpoint. It's currently selling two SUV models, the ES8 and the ES6, as well as the sedan, the EC6. As of the end of October, it had deliveries total of 145,703 units. This gives it the most extensive production track record among competitors like Rivian and Lucid as they're just getting started in production. It's hard for me to see Neo get beaten down any further from a valuation perspective. Price to sales is under seven, price to book is under 10, and operating cash flow is 2.5 billion and expected to continue growing fast. My average on Neo was $18 per share after all the additions that I made. I took some profits at the mid 30s and still have some shares now that are right below the current price. I'm going to keep holding the stock and running the three core option strategies that I mentioned like covered calls, short puts, and the wheel strategy. Now I'm going to share my screen in just a second and show you some more of the things that I'm looking at with NEO. But I do want to talk about Tesla. I have a very similar view on Tesla and here's some highlights on why it's going to the moon, which is $2,000 per share in the next 12 to 36 months. Tesla's deliveries are skyrocketing. Q4 earnings, Huge. Wall Street totally confused on Tesla's true advantage. Financial media, clueless. Huge EV opportunity and to top it all off, you have a free call option on robo taxis, which is not priced into Tesla stock. Robo taxis are worth potentially $13.3 trillion 
according to ARK Invest. Now, I don't listen to Kathy Wood on everything because I like to do my own research. When it comes to Tesla, since she was so early in calling the stocks run up, I do give her some more weight when she buys or sells Tesla stock. I really like to see what Kathy is doing by looking at Lucid Tracking. This software, which is cheap, I'll link it down below. I really like to look at it because it tells me when Kathy is buying or selling. And I do believe in Kathy when it comes to Tesla stock because she was so early on. I don't really believe everything else Kathy says or really any influencer or any figure says, but when someone is right on a stock from an early standpoint, then you know, I can really get behind that. Pretty much like I was with Neo and Tesla. I do make mistakes, but I also like to think that I have my core competencies and area of expertise. Now the largest holding across all all of ARK Invest ETFs is Tesla. And it's one of the few things that worked out really well for Kathy Wood last year. The stock rose 50% last year, a sharp contrast to most of her top holdings that suffered painful double digit percentage slides in 2021. Making matters worse, Wood was selling off her winning position through the second half of the year to fund the purchase of her poorly performing growth stocks. Do you see why I made so much money in my Discord shorting Rivian, Lucid, Hood, Net? and Snow using options. With Tesla recently pulling back, Kathy finally started buying again after Tesla posted blowout financial results two weeks ago. As you can see, RK started adding some shares of Tesla. You can see RK has 8.59% of their portfolio in Tesla, so Kathy still has some room to buy until she reaches the 10% threshold in ARK Invest mandate. But obviously, I'm just bullish on the stock and I can see it rising a lot. Let me briefly show you my position in Tesla and some options that I have opened as well as something on Neo. All right, so the first thing that I want to look at is Neo. Neo is currently sitting at $25.98. This stock has done a whole lot of recovering since late January. So on January 28th, this stock was basically a $20 stock. Now Neo is really heading up to the upside. And I really like the momentum that we're building right now because for a few days in a row, February 3rd, all the way up until the 9th, which is today, this stock has had pretty much every single day of an uptrend. So I expect Neo to continue moving higher. I think that we're going to see potentially high $28 per share or maybe even in the low 30s. Now, that being said, I think the best three strategies, as I mentioned before, is going to be selling put options, doing covered calls, and running the wheel strategy. And the wheel strategy is basically a subset of selling puts and covered calls. Now, taking a look at the option chain, I would probably go down to maybe February 18th if you want to go one week out. However, lately, I've been doing monthly options because they're a lot easier for me to track, especially with all of the coaching that I've been doing in the Discord. So, selling a put option right here, I'm going to go down and look at the 22 and a half strike price. And that's because I think Neo at around $20 per share was stupid cheap. I mean, ridiculously cheap. I don't think it belongs there. Now, currently Neo sitting above $25 per share. So I think even selling 25 puts could be a really good idea. And in fact, if you sell the 25 puts, this premium right here of $1.97, it's basically $2, which is basically about 8% returns in a little bit over one month. So in about a month, you can make 8% returns, which means that you would make about 96 or basically 100% per year if you were running the wheel strategy on NEO. Now, of course, that does mean that every single month you're going to be successful. However, on a short-term trade here and even a long-term perspective, selling the 25 strike, you collect 8% premium. And if you get into NEO stock at $25 per share, I think that's a great entry price for the long-term investor. Now for the second strategy that I'm looking at is selling covered calls. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click sell call option. Now, what I would be looking at is probably the 30 strike. Now, the 30 strike is really advantageous because the current share of NEO is $26 now, which means that if you buy 100 shares, which is $2,600, now you've built in some room for upside. You built in the opportunity for NEO stock to go from $26 to $30, where you can make $400 on the stock appreciating. Now, you also get paid a premium of $1.09, which is a 4% return. Return. However, the $400 is more than a 10% return. So there's a lot of good strategies here with NEO, especially because NEO is pulling back up. Whether you want to sell a put option at 25 or a covered call at 30, you can actually do both. You can sell puts and wait to get put the stock and then start selling covered calls. That would be called a wheel strategy. I'm going to have a video for you in the description. Or you can also just simultaneously sell a put option at 25 and buy shares of the stock and sell a $30 covered call which means that you're going to have 200 shares basically of exposure. One was selling puts and then 
another 100 shares was selling covered calls. This would actually be called a covered straddle. And this is one of the strategies that I would absolutely use if you wanna build a good position in a stock. Now, the reason for that is, say Neo goes up, it never goes below $25 per share. Well, what's going to happen is you can make money on selling the $25 put option, then you can also make money on the stock rising and make money on the covered calls. So you're gonna be making money three ways. Now, if you don't do a covered call and you just sell puts, that's still really good. You can collect a lot of premium. However, you might miss some of the upside if Neo stock ends up taking off to $30 per share. Now, here's my portfolio. I've been doing really good in the past couple of weeks here. I started really amping up my game. A lot of my options here are going to be expiring in the profit. I mean, we have a firm, Airbnb, Adobe, Baba, Coin, Lucid, Net, Nvidia, Snow. I mean, all of these options are currently going for a gain. Coinbase is showing a current loss, but I expect this option to be a gain as well. This is called a call credit spread. Starbucks, I just opened up today in the private Discord. But what I really wanna show you guys is this position right here. This put credit spread on Tesla. I'm selling the 790, 780 put credit spread on Tesla. And in fact, I have another put credit spread that I'm selling. This one is expiring March 18th, and this one is expiring September 16th. So I'm a big fan of Tesla, and you don't have to have a lot of capital to trade Tesla. What you can do is you can sell put credit spreads. If you wanna learn more about put credit spreads, you can watch this video right here on the screen right now.